Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody. My name is Kim and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do something chill, something random. And I am in the closet, the walk-in closet. So today I'm gonna give you a tour of my campsite, my cabin, and my camper and Animal Crossing pocket camp if i only had a switch i mean hello nintendo hit me up if only i had a switch i'm gonna give you an island tour because i have a lot of things in mind but since i'm not rich of <laughs> course since i'm not rich i can't afford you know a switch just to play animal crossing um so yeah i'm happy to give you this tour it's something very chill so yeah i hope you guys will enjoy Hey guys, so welcome to my campsite. As you can see from the overview, the overall theme is natural because even though this is a restaurant, I still wanted to get in touch with nature. So as you can see, there are still a lot of wood elements because you know, you're under the sun and it's kind of cute and fresh. If you follow me, oh hi Alois, you can see some plants, wooden tables, and tree trunks as chairs. As you can see, the tables are filled with food and snacks because I like to think that the animals eat here and I want them to look, you know, full. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. So these are the things that I got from the cookie. As you can see, there's a salad bar that set the inspiration for this restaurant. There is also a soup bar and a juice bar. There are some plant boxes here that act as a divider from the buffet to the dining area so that it would look divided but not separated. If you move here, there is a sink, of course, to wash off the virus away and a wooden trash bin to tie up this natural theme altogether. Plus this divider with some leaves to add to this aesthetic. I don't know why, but I decided to put this area with a go board and a wooden log to sit on. I wanted to pretend that this is a show board like Uncle Iroh sipping tea, but that's what I want. And this is a shirogi piece that I wanted to look like a grave and some incense to, you know, pay respects. Next up are the amenities. The first one is a tree house. This just ties the aesthetic all together. They can read books up there, which is really, really cute. So the next amenity is a VIP picnic area. I don't know why, but that's what I think it is. Only exclusive animals can eat here. And I think it's so adorable that they're having a picnic. Next up is my camper. As you can see, it is blue, but it has white and pink stripes. I chose this design over the other one because it reminds me of Volkswagen's van, which is really, really cute because vintage stuff, you know, I really like them. So I chose this design instead. So let's go in. Once you're in, it's basically what you see is what you get. I am here now in the front seat and I'm gonna hop off for you and show you around. As you can see, there are plants here and there is an egg fryer, which is really, really cute. You can play around with it. So I decided to keep the original furniture of the camper because I want it to look like a camper, like an RV. Some items are from the cabin. There is a ladder over there, a towel rack. There are some spices over here when I want to cook. And you can sit here when we're traveling. And you can see that the rug is cute and pink. It kind of has a rustic but natural vibe, which I really, really like. As you can see over there, there are two gasoline, I like to think. They're actually really cute to have. It looks like I am traveling all the time. That's why I need those. And you can see the front dashboard over there. And that's me. So now we can go to the second floor. Basically here, it's just a bedroom, my bedroom. And here is a little stool with a cactus plant on the table, which I really like. I like cactus, cacti, but I don't have in real life. So I just added some here in my room. So here at the right, I have a red suitcase because I like to assume that I travel a lot. So my clothes are here. And there is a random box with a toy camera on it. I I don't know why, but I decided to put that there. So on the left side of the room, there's a little sitting area next to the teddy bear. I don't know, I like to think that she's contemplating, that I'm contemplating over here. 
And we also have another cactus plant. Since it's a low maintenance plant, why not put it in a dark room, <laughs> maybe? So here is a cabana desk lamp and a standard black bed that you can lie down on when you're tired of traveling from campsite to campsite. So now we are in the first floor of my cabin. This is more of like a commercial area. Here is a cash register because this is a cafe. This is basically friends inspired. This whole floor is inspired by friends. This part here is inspired by the Central Perk Cafe. So you can drink coffee here, eat some pastries. So there is the iconic red couch that is in the Central Park Cafe and that's where the friends sit around, drink some coffee even though it's messed up by Rachel but that's why I placed a chair over there where they can have fun, you know, the little animals. You can make some coffee over here, yeah. At the back of the cafe, there is a boutique that is inspired by Rachel Green because I really love Jennifer Aniston. So I kind of like Rachel even though I don't like her. I don't understand. But there are some clothes here that you can see. There is a magazine cabinet, whatchamacallit. And there is a rack there that is filled with clothes where you can pick out your outfit if that's what you want. These are the fanciest dresses that I have on display. I put them there because, you know, they're fancy. So, yeah. That is like a tailor's desk where they creatively think of new clothes. There are rolls of cloth over there that I also got from a cookie. Which also helped me inspire this part of the room. This part of this cabin. And so, yeah. This is the first floor. So now we're in the second floor and let's call the animals because it's kind of boring if I'm alone. So yeah, we're gonna invite them. So the animals are now here. This room is basically a multi-purpose place that makes you feel like home. There is a lamp over here that you can switch on and off. And a big television that apparently only plays sports. So yeah, I am not a big fan of soccer so i'm gonna you know switch this off and there's also a couch there and if you move here there is a dressing room if i want to change i just like to assume that i can change even though you can't and then you kill the plant over there with some cabana designs here is where i edit and or where i like to assume i edit this is not actually a computer, this is just a desktop TV, but I wanted to put that there because it ties the room all together for that aesthetic. And here is a film. Oh, excuse me, Goldie. Hello? Goldie. So this is more like a filming area where I could try to do makeup. And Eloise is just there sitting and reading in front of the light. This part right here is the kitchen. As you can see, there is a sink here that is more like modern. A plant with a cabana vase and another refrigerator that's a personal use and we have a stove where the animals actually cook something on this island right here there is a blender with some strawberry smoothie and some paella which I think is really really yummy even though I'm allergic to shrimp I just like the taste of that and so that's the overview of my room yeah the second floor of my cabin so if you're wondering why my character is dressed like that it is more diwata inspired although I just added wings because I don't want to but yeah so that's the end don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it comment down below who your favorite animal crossing camper is because mine's goldie also if you have questions about animal crossing pocket camp um tips tricks i'm happy to do a video or if you just have questions comment down below or if you just want to talk I, I, don't, I don't know click and subscribe to be a part of my community also also my socials are down the description box so yeah you're here in this closet because um, it's nice to record here since it's very silent, I think. But you can kind of hear my brother playing his Roblox game. He's playing Crasher Cars. Yep. This is my sister's hoodie, by the way. She bought it sa Ukai. Online Ukai. And it's cute.